This video is for the higher level content from Z4.2 on stability and change, and we'll be looking at ecological succession. Ecological succession is really about a transformation of an ecosystem, and that can be due to biotic or abiotic changes. So biotic changes might be like a change in species. So looking at grasses um, being like the predominant plant species to maybe a change over to trees. It could also be abiotic factors like having less ground light or lower temperatures. We'll go into types of ecological succession. Some of them are linear, some of them are cyclical, but in general, ecological succession is really about transformation. First, we'll talk about primary succession. This is really the beginning of ecosystem development. So primary succession is succession starting with an environment with very few living organisms. So we're starting from scratch here. So we're gonna start with bare rock. And I think of this as being like after a lava flow, we'll totally wipe out an ecosystem and I'm left with just this blanket of igneous rock, right? So that bare rock is then um, going to be worked on by bacteria bacteria and lichens. So they're generally the first organisms that kind of come into this ecosystem or they may already be present. And what they really do is they cause soil development through the erosion process. So they erode um, that bare rock and then I start to get soil. Once you have soil, then you can start to grow plants. And the herbs are really going to be the first type of plants that are growing. Then you will see the development of shrubs. And then finally, you will see the development of trees. And so this is all what we call primary succession. And during that process, we're going to note some changes, one being the increase in primary production. So this is mainly going to be through photosynthesis. So once we start having things like herbs and shrubs, we're gonna see a lot more photosynthesis uh, taking place and that will continue as we progress towards trees. We'll see an increase in species diversity. So that's the number of species present. And because of that, we'll also see an increase in food web complexity or these feeding relationships. And then finally, we'll see an increase in nutrient cycling. So if we think about the carbon cycle or the nitrogen cycle, things like that, they're dependent on the organisms um, that live in that ecosystem. So the more diversity we have, the more nutrient cycling will take place, which means the more species we can um, uh, support, so on and so forth. Now we talked a little bit about ecological succession being maybe like linear or cyclical. Let's talk about some cyclical succession. These are going to be patterns, that's really important, patterns of change and succession that occur either naturally or due to periodic disturbances. So for example, this oak tree um, just dominates this oak forest ecosystem. Now, when it drops its seeds, these seeds are very intolerant of shade. And so they can't grow in the shade. Um, so no new oak trees are produced or very few. So eventually when all of these oak trees die out, this ecosystem becomes dominated by grass. And so it turns into a grassland but some of those oak seeds that dropped previously thrive in the grass. And so then new oak trees um, are uh, produced uh, or new oak trees grow, I should say, and then it reverts back into an oak forest. So we get this very cyclical uh, succession. Evergreen forests, which are dominated by evergreens, like conifers, like you can think about a pine tree, often will regenerate after fires. So that's an example of a periodic disturbance that changes or transforms an ecosystem, but then it cycles back around. Because of this, there is no stable climax community. And those climax communities are those very stable, relatively unchanging ecosystems. Okay, so again, we just talked about ecosystems like the oak, um, undergoing ecological succession and turning into the grassland, which then goes back into the oak, that's cyclical. Okay, climax communities are going to progress more like this, okay? And so we'll get climax communities like something like a tropical rainforest that's relatively stable and unchanging. 
Now, plagioclimax communities are a type of climax community, but they're the result of human activity. So something like fields for livestock uh, grazing or wetlands that have been drained are stable, but they're not the natural climax community. They're the result of human intervention. So to dive deeper into that, grazing areas are usually protected and they're protected from predators, which means that there are no predators or very few predators um, to eat these grazing animals. And so you get an artificially high population of these grazing livestock. The grasses persist, the grass grows back after their blades are eaten, but there's no succession by trees or shrubs. Those are either prevented from the animals themselves um, or from the, um, the farmers. So you don't ever get that succession into a forest. Wetland drainage is also interesting. So this is where um, swamps or bogs um, have water diverted from them. So those swamps and bogs, remember, are natural carbon sinks. They develop into things like peat, which stores a lot of carbon. That water tends to be anoxic. And so when we create a waterlogged anoxic environment, um, there's really only some, organ some organisms like methanogenic bacteria that have the special adaptations for living there. When you drain that water away, what you're doing is you're removing this waterlogged aspect from the environment and you're going to see the introduction of species that can produce oxygen so it's no longer anoxic. So other plants um, and things can thrive in that area now. And so you've created a stable ecosystem, but again, both of these are examples of plagioclimax communities because they're due to human intervention. And so again here, what we wanna be thinking is theme D, continuity and change. Okay, humans can cause changes to environment which make a stable continuous ecosystem, but that might be different than the climax community that would normally exist there.